Number one, write the following isotopes in hyphenated form, and the example that they give us is carbon-14. Our example that we have, we have a 194 on the top, a 77 on the bottom, and an IR as the element. We just need to write it in terms of the element's name. So for the example, they give us carbon, and then they give us a number. So we just need basically two things with a hyphen uh, in front of it. So let's find out what the element is. Now in this case, we have an IR. Now some of you might know what IR is already, but for me, I'm going to look on the periodic table and find out where IR is. You could always go back on the periodic table to search things out. And in this case, IR is all the way down here on the periodic table. Not usually uh, as well known as some of the other elements, but it is an element nonetheless. And IR is iridium. So we say IR, I-D-I-U-M. Okay, 50% done. Now, we just need to find out that number, right? What does that number represent? Well, the carbon 14, the 14 in this case, represents the mass number, or we'll say the atomic mass. Now, a mass can change for a given element. So, for example, carbon could be carbon 12, carbon 13, carbon 14, and because the mass changes, that's why we have to list it. But we are given two numbers here, 194 and 77. Which one is the mass, right? Which one's the atomic mass? You're absolutely correct. It's the one on the top, the 194. The bigger number, if they give you the two numbers, the bigger number is always going to be the atomic mass. And if you want to know the number on the bottom, in this case 77, that's the atomic number. That's the number of protons. And for any element, its atomic number or the number of protons will never change. So that's why 77, and then if you go on the periodic table, it is 77. So it doesn't give us any more context. Since a mass changes, that's why we have to put it in the hyphenated form. And for our example, we have iridium-194. And that's it. Let's box it off and call it a video. Oh, yeah. All right. Box it, box it, box it. Highlight it. Okie dokie. That looks good to me. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe, like, tell your friends, tell your classmates. And if you want to, we opened up membership. So if you want to help us even more uh, in the channel more, you can become a member. There's tons of perks in there, depending on, you know, which one you fancy. So check it out. No, no, you know, not mandatory, not obligated to. Any, any little bit of help helps us out. So thank you so much, and I will talk to you in later lessons. Okie dokie. Bye-bye.